Hello learner. Welcome to a mathematics lesson for grade 4. Today, we will learn how to find the perimeter of regular and irregular shapes. Your radio teacher is Kevin Mohia. Welcome to the program. Hello, Lana. Welcome to our Mathematics Grade 4 lesson. Today, we shall learn how to find the perimeter of regular and irregular shapes. Today, we shall learn how to find the perimeter of regular and irregular shapes. I hope that you will be able to calculate the perimeter of regular and irregular shapes by the end of the lesson. I hope that you will be able to calculate the perimeter of regular and irregular shapes by the end of this lesson. So get your book, your pencil, and your ruler. I hope you're set to learn. Lana, do you remember the units we used to measure the length of objects and surfaces? Do you remember the units we used to measure the length of objects and surfaces? Name these units. The units you use to measure length of objects and surfaces are centimeters and meters. The units we use to measure the length of objects and surfaces are centimeters and meters. Do you remember how to convert meters to centimeters? Convert 9 meters to centimeters. Convert 9 meters to centimeters. Very good. You will take 9 meters and multiply it by 100. You will take 9 meters and multiply it by 100 to get 900. Therefore, 9 meters in centimeters is 900 centimeters. Therefore, 9 meters in centimeters is 900 centimeters. Lana, convert 590 centimeters to meters. Convert 500 and 90 centimeters to meters. You are going to take 590 centimeters and divide it by 100. You are going to take 590 centimeters and divide it by 100 to get 5 meters and a remainder of 90. Therefore, the answer is going to be 5 meters and 90 centimeters. The answer is going to be 5 meters and 90 centimeters. Today, we shall learn how to calculate the perimeter of regular and irregular shapes. Today, 
we shall learn how to calculate the perimeter of regular and irregular shapes. What is the difference between regular and irregular shapes? What is the difference between regular and irregular shapes? I hope you answered the difference between regular and irregular shapes. I hope you answered the difference between regular and irregular shapes. Regular shapes have a definite figure. Regular shapes have a definite figure, while irregular shapes do not have a definite figure. Lana, can you name the regular shapes you know? Can you name the regular shapes you know? If you have listed rectangle, square, circle, and a triangle, then you are correct. Let's start with the rectangle. Let's start with the rectangle. How many sides does a rectangle have? How many sides does a rectangle have? Very good. A rectangle has four sides. A rectangle has four sides. Can you look around and identify items which are rectangular in shape? Can you look around and identify the items which are rectangular in shape? Some of the items that are rectangular in shape are table, a door, the window, a book, the television screen, and many more. A table, a door, a window, a book, a television screen, and many more. I have said that a rectangle has four sides. Which other property of a rectangle do you know? Which other property of a rectangle do you know? In a rectangle, the opposite sides are equal. The opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. Take an example of your exercise book. The longer side is 18 centimeters long, and the shorter side is 13 centimeters long. The longer side of your exercise book is 18 centimeters, and the shorter side is 13 centimeters. This means that the opposite sides are equal because they have the same measurement. This means that the opposite sides are equal because they have the same measurement. Let's calculate the perimeter of a rectangle. But first, what is a perimeter? What is a perimeter? Perimeter is the distance round a closed figure. 
perimeter is the distance round a closed figure, be it regular, be it irregular. It is the distance round a closed figure, be it a regular shape or an irregular shape. This means that the perimeter is the length all round from one point going round all the way back to the same point. To get the perimeter of a rectangle, we add all the sides together. We add all the sides together. Now, Lana, find the perimeter of our book. Find the perimeter of our book. The longest side of our book is 18 centimeters and the shorter side is 13 centimeters. The opposite sides are equal. Therefore, we are going to add all the four sides. That is 18 centimeters plus 13 centimeters plus 18 centimeters plus 13 centimeters. When you add all of them together, you will get 62 centimeters. Therefore, the perimeter of the book is 62 centimeters. This is another example. Let's take the door. The longer side of a door is 200 centimeters and the shorter side is 100 centimeters. Calculate its perimeter. The longer side of a door is 200 centimeters and the shorter side is 100 centimeters. Calculate its perimeter. The door has four sides. The opposite sides are equal. Therefore, we are going to take 200 centimeters plus 100 centimeters plus 200 centimeters plus 100 centimeters. When I add all of them together, I am going to get 600 centimeters. Therefore, the perimeter of the door is 600 centimeters. Another regular figure is a square. Another regular figure is a square. Can you name any property of a square that you know? Can you name any property of a square that you know? Good. A square has four sides, just like a rectangle. But unlike a rectangle, all the sides of a square are equal. All the sides of a square are equal. Can you identify any item that is square in shape? Can you identify any item that is square in shape? Some of the items that are square in shape are a stool, a computer monitor, some pillows, a window, and many more. To find the perimeter of a square, you will add all the sides together. To find the perimeter of a square, you will add all the sides together.
Ghana, practice using a ruler, and measure some of the items around you. Practice using a ruler and measure some of the items around you. And calculate their perimeter. Do this exercise after the lesson. In today's lesson, you have learned how to calculate the perimeter of regular and irregular shapes. That is the end of our lesson today. Goodbye.